Welcome tech students. I'm going to show you how to use the Pitsco Synergistic Module System. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you see an icon on your desktop that says Synergy, um, go ahead and click on the Synergy desktop item and we can begin. It's going to ask you for a username and a password. Now I'm going to go ahead and enter in um, an eStudent password that would serve as an example for you. So you're going to enter in your username and your password and you should be able to log in successfully. Now this is your home screen. There are a couple items that I'd like to show you. This is where it says log on and log off. If you need to successfully exit a module please press the log off button and do not click the X button. Clicking the X button will sometimes not allow you to save your changes that you have made or save your progress. By clicking the log off button it will go ahead and ask you to put in your participation points um, and your attendance points. So whenever you need to log off please go ahead and click the log off button. It has your name up here and for this example I typed in example student and you have a couple buttons up here. You have your main page which is your home you can have a help page and an about page in case you have some questions or want to inquire a little bit further about the current module that you're in. And then you also have reports. By clicking on student report, you can see your grades for each individual module. Now I'm going to show you the orientation module. In any given module, you have a total of seven sessions that you must complete before successfully finishing each module and you also have an enrichment section if you happen to finish early or if you'd like to dive in a little bit deeper into the content um, that you're currently studying. Um, in each module you're going to successfully go through each individual session until you reach the post assessment at the end of session 7. So let's go ahead and show you what an example of a session looks like. The module guide will take you through a series of steps where you can continue um, to advance within the module. It explains to you how to use the module, it explains some different tasks and challenges that you'll face, and it also teaches you how to navigate throughout the system. So if I go ahead and click continue, I will be able to advance within the module system. RCA is the acronym for which of the following? A. Research, Chart, and Application. B. Resource, Challenge, and Application. C. Research, Challenge, and Application. D. Research, Challenge, and Approximation. Now, if you notice, there's a female that is giving me some directions and reading the question to me. You will have to use your headphones in order to be able to hear the person that is speaking. You may not advance until the person that is speaking finishes speaking. That is very important to remember. So in this case, I could choose one of my answers. Now, this is part of your pre-assessment, which will help to determine what you do know and what you don't know, so it will be able to monitor your progress. So just for the sake of this being an experiment, I'm going to go ahead and select C. Then I'm going to go ahead and click Done, and it will advance me to the next RCA question. In a synergistic lab, what term refers to the time spent learning the information in one module and is made up of seven sessions or class periods? A. Session B. Rotation C. Application D. Semester And this is going to continue for a series of questions until I'm finished with the pre-assessment. So then, when I'm finished, I can go ahead and go back and I'm just going to go ahead and log in again. And when I log in again, it also asks for a second username. So if I'm working with a partner, my partner can enter his or her information in here and we can begin working together. If I click on the student report button, it will give me a report for the module that I'm currently in. If I'm in more than one module, I can click on the module and then it will generate a report just for that specific module. 
Here it gives you an overview of your score so far and your percent. So as you can see, I have not earned any points in the other following categories other than the module guide. So I have not completed any other session and I have a 0% as of now because I just started the module and I haven't successfully completed any of the lessons. So if you ever wanted to check on your progress within a specific lesson or within a specific module, you could view uh, the reports page and get a very detailed description of how you're currently doing within the module. And if I wanted some help about a topic, I could click help and I could click on some related topics. I can also uh, perform a search to help me figure out a problem. I could check out the glossary uh, and I can even go to the index. If I wanted to learn more about something, I could just click on this button. So I'm going to go back to the main page, click on orientation, and again, this will take me back to my home page and I can go ahead and advance within each session uh, for my module. So I hope this has been a very informative information session for you. I hope you have a little bit more understanding of how the module system works and I hope that you can go ahead and begin working on a current module uh, that you're excited about and I wish you the best of luck within a module. If you have any specific questions, uh, please feel free to raise your hand or use your call light and I will come around to help you out. Thank you.